Uh, how are you doing that? Uh, it's just demonic levitation powers. Nothing special. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. So tell me, Doug, what is it you desire most? I like to cuddle your plush Mario at night. Well, that was unexpected. What? Not weird. Gets cold. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And today, me and Dexter are with you for a really quick episode, because we're just in between those Adobe tutorials, and I just thought I'd do a quickie episode. So here's the request. Hung Vu asked, please do Levitate Coin in Lucifer TV show. Well, it just so happens I've been watching Lucifer at the moment, and I thought this might be a nice quickie effect that I can squeeze in between all these videos I gotta do. So in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor or yourself just pretending to levitate a coin. It's not overly complicated. You also need to head down to the description and download the 3D coin animation that I've created in Cinema 4D for you. I'll do a tutorial on how to make this coin later on during the year, but for now, just grab that one down in the description and we're good to go. Okay gang, this one is gonna be super quick because I honestly only have a very limited window to make this. So I've got my comp right here of me pretending to spin my imaginary coin. All pretty standard stuff really. So what's our first step? Well, we're gonna add a null object because we're gonna track the position of this finger here. So let's select our footage, head over to tracker and hit track motion. We'll then select a juicy point on our finger. This looks good. We'll then jump down and hit the play button. Now you may find that if your fingers say out of focus, you might have to track this frame by frame. As you can see, the track sort of jumped off the track, so to speak. So I'm gonna actually do this frame by frame as well. So let's just hit the reset button here. Pick our track point again. We'll head down here and click this button here and we'll just keep clicking it as we go frame by frame. And each time we click it, we're just adding yet another frame to our tracking data. Not exactly the fastest way to track a shot, but it's also not that hard. And especially since this shot is pretty short, it's not taking us that long either. Let's then hit edit target, choose our null, hit okay, jump down, hit apply, and once again, hit okay. Our next step is to add that coin straight into our shot. So let's head over to the project window, grab our coin animation that you've downloaded in the description and drop it straight onto our footage. We'll then hit S and then we'll scale the coin down to suit our shot. And then of course, move it into position. Once you're happy, grab the pick whip and parent it to our null. Now let's check out a preview. Not bad, but let's blend it a little better. For starters, it's a little too sharp for the shot. So let's head up to effect, blur and sharpen and add a camera lens blur. Now in order to figure out how much you need to blur it, zoom in on your finger here and check the blurriness. Then adjust the blur amount of my coin to suit the finger. This looks pretty good. We'll also then turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer just to give that tracking a little bit more weight to it. Another quick tip on how to blend the coin into your shot a little bit better, I'm actually gonna flip mine horizontal so it matches the lighting in my shot. So I'll just head up to layer, transform, flip horizontal, done. And lastly, if the color of the coin looks a bit weird in your shot, you may need to adjust the color with a little color correction. <coughs> I'm using Red Giant's Colorista, but you can use whatever basic color correction tool you like. Now I'm not giving my settings or my workflow here for one simple reason. Your shot's gonna be totally different to mine. There's no point. But if I turn off the effect and turn it back on, you can see the subtle difference I've made in order to blend the coin better into my shot. It doesn't take much, but that tiny bit of adjustment really does help. From there, and this is just a cherry on top, I'm gonna select everything in the comp, right click and hit pre-compose. Now all I'm gonna do here is add a slight camera move, just for fun, and to make it look, you know, a bit more fancy. So to do that, let's hit S, scale the shot up to say 105, hit P, hit the stopwatch on position, drag the frame to the right, head to the end of the comp, and drag the frame over to the left. Lastly, turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer. Now that we've done all that, let's check out a preview. And that is another shot done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Uh, how are you doing that? Uh, it's just demonic levitation powers. Nothing special. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. So tell me, Doug, what is it you desire most? I like to cuddle your plush Mario at night. Well, that was unexpected. What? Not weird. Gets cold. So that's my take on Lucifer's levitating coin 
power, I guess. It's not overly hard if you've already got the 3D coin animation. All you do is just blend it into your shot and track it. But that's my time, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, chum the pants off that subscribe button. Here's the Facebook, here's the Twitter, and until next time, keep learning. Good boy.